Can you tell me more about Aaron? So I knew Aaron thanks to organizing with the San Antonio Collective Care.、Uh, we usually talked about things related to organizing, our eagerness to get involved here in San Antonio, and building more community networks to support、uh, our more vulnerable community members.、Uh, along with our political beliefs, many times we debated our points of view and how that related to the world. We had talked like several times previously about. For one or two, the abysmal response in America and the local government's response to COVID, and how it had impacted both of us, and how we saw like how it interacted with our community,、uh, along with the conflicts happening in Ukraine and Palestine, since we both had anti-war sentiments. Yeah, I think overall he was a a caring individual. He definitely showed a lot of compassion and empathy for those around him, and a desire to understand. What they were going through and where they came from, like what their point of view was, and also understood like how we all relate to the systems in which we were impacted through like community organizing and that kind of outreach. What was his opinions about U.S. launched wars?、Uh, we had previously talked about war and conflicts going on around the world. I would say my experience is that he felt most, if not all, current conflicts. The U.S. had involved itself in were not about advancing democracy or freedom, but about maintaining the U.S. empire and its political and economic interests.、Uh, I think we both generally fell into the line of like, no war is a good war, and these things needed to end.、Um, he felt a contradiction in his position in the active military,、uh, and that was something that kind of guided his beliefs and ideals、um, around like giving back more and things like that to the community. For that. I would say it weighed heavily on him on the fact that U.S. resources are going into the conflict right now that is killing、uh, many civilians and causing and wreaking havoc in the region. What do you think about what he did? I think it's still hard to imagine anyone doing it. I think it's hard to imagine a person. Because I think I've met many people who are passionate about what they believe in and things like that to a level, but that level is、uh, a large extreme. I think, given what I know about him and what he believed, he knew committing this action in his uniform would garner more attention and a wider audience. He was very self-aware of the role he played, and to have a person who was active military sacrifice themselves for something outside of war must have like. Stunned and shocked a lot of people outside of those who personally knew him.、Uh, since the beginning of this year, two other people had self-immolated, and the story of who they were and their actions sadly wasn't received with a wider recognition.、Um, and I think he kind of knew that being that military uniform person would demand an answer and figure out who this person is, why they did that, and what they mean in the. Whole big scheme of what this conflict is and why a military member is doing this.、Uh, so he, so he committed his self-immolation in a very calculated way, and he, so that it could not be covered up or kind of clouded by、uh, media sources. I think for his action, it's a powerful form of protest、uh, to sacrifice someone's whole body in such a violent way, so that people acknowledge what is going around, going on,、um, and it's hard to really understand. What got him to that level of like feeling that way? My first reaction was shock and disbelief. And when the Facebook Live video of him came out and it started to appear on more and more、uh, social media posts and things like that, it was kind of hard to manage those feelings of just like anger and sadness, along with acknowledging that he would have wanted us to continue to pursue peace. And demand a change of action from the American perspective in Palestine. What message did he want to deliver to the U.S. government? His overall message, I think, explains why he was doing this protest to encourage others to look at the horrors and being perpetuated and demand change. It definitely has garnered in America a demand to understand why someone did this、um, and what is actually going on,、uh, what is happening, and why have we. Been ignoring it to some level. Does Aaron's self-immolation reflect broader critical views within the military toward actions ordered by the U.S. government or the military? I know more people in the military becoming aware to how these conflicts the U.S. has involved its military in do not end up promoting peace. We've seen so many Americans die 
and be caught up in fighting wars that go on for decades where no peace is established. And I think more people in the military are feeling resentment or disillusioned with any idea that they were initially sold into the military. Will Aaron's actions prompt the U.S. government to reflect on its policy in the Israel-Palestine conflict and other wars? Time will tell. Uh, it, I think it's very clear that standing beh- beside Israel has become less and less of a popular position uh, amongst the American people. I think this conflict in its brutality and the level of death and chaos that has occurred has shown that this is not an ally the American people want to side with. 